Well, hello everybody, and we're back on the bike. Today we're on the, the Forza 300, the Honda. Uh, it's a nice little bike to scoot around town. We're heading over to um, Donald Road in Queanbeyan just to cruise up and down the road for one of our subscribers. And um, here we're just going up Morton Street, so crossing Crest Road here. And um, heading down past the primary school in Morton Street. This is the western side of Porton, Morton Street, sorry. Out in the distance you can see the uh, telecom tower on the Black Mountain. A little bit of a view out over Canberra. And then we'll go down here and head off towards the Kangaroo Club. And then um, we'll end up, as you see, we'll end up in Donald Road and we'll just have a quick ride up and down Donald Road. As I mentioned, we're on the Honda Forza 300. It's a scooter type of bike. Very nice to ride and um, very zippy around town. Uh, it's fully automatic gearbox, so it's um, it just simply um, changes gear for you. There's no gears actually. It's just continuously variable transmission. And I've got the windscreen down so we can see over the windscreen a bit easier. The windscreen's got a little bit of colour in it, that's because of the polarising filter. So just on our right here is the Kangaroo Club. I've only been there once or twice. And then we'll go into this um, uh, other street. We're still heading over towards Donald Road. It's called Munro Street or something like that, or Monero Street. No, Munro Street, I think. Up over the hill. This scooter is really good for around town. I enjoy riding. I enjoy riding the um, Royal Enfield Meteor 350 as well. I took it on a long ride today as well. Quite enjoyable. Beautiful um, early spring day. It's still August here, but it's like a spring day. There's a frost this morning, but um, uh, we can see spring is coming. The, the wattle trees in parts of the Forests are, are starting to flower. They're probably the first ones to flower as the spring draws closer. Many trees have buds and growth on them and some of our garden plants like our blueberries they're actually um, have some of them have tiny little flowers on them ready to ready to grow. Quite, I like the blueberries they've got beautiful flowers and uh, nice fruit and they grow in a pot pretty well. You just need to water them thoroughly once every two or three weeks. Depends how hot it is. Actually this winter has been very very wet and we've had some good rainfalls. Here we're coming down to Ross Road. We're going to turn right after stopping of course. There's my Chinese friend. I seen him again last time. He's always getting around this road, Ross Road. He's up and down. So there we go, that, that four wheel drive didn't stop. He should have, there's a stop sign there. But nobody's a perfect driver. There was a giveaway sign there for a long time. So here we are, we're coming down Canberra Avenue and we're just going to turn right into the Donald Road. One of my um, YouTube watchers mentioned Donald Road that their uh, son or daughter lived there at one stage. So I thought, well, I'm just testing out the camera just to see how it works before I go on a longer ride around Canberra. I'm going to have a look at Lake Burley Griffin and Parliament Houses today. But here's Donald Road. It's got a lot of flats and units. It's got some like Housing Commission style houses. Some, some parts of it are the older style and some have been replaced with newer houses. It's a very quite a good street in Queen Mare. and uh, there's a high school down here and a caravan park as well a few blocks of units here we're coming up to a roundabout and there's the um, what do they call it the grocery grocery shop it's just groceries only or something good little shop just groceries that's it 
So I'll write up, um, what, uh, up this Donald Road for you. Parallel to this street, um, to our east is Cameron Road. Some of my relatives came from Cameron Road, I think. It might have been Donald Road, I'm not sure. They lived up here somewhere. And here's the Caravan Park, Crestview Caravan Park on our right. It's quite a big caravan park, I've never actually been in there. There's another caravan park near Fishwick about maybe five or six kilometres away. It's quite a good one. I've been in there to visit uh, friends that, that were staying there a few years ago. And we just went past the high school on our left there. So as you can see, it's, uh, the sky is very blue. It's because of the polarizing filter, perhaps. And uh, I'm trying to have a look from the left and right just to see what Donald Road looks like. Here we're coming up to another roundabout. I forget the name of this road, I should know it. South Bar Road, that's what it is. There it is, South Bar Road. And that's a uh, adjoining road. Goes down to Carabar. So here we are, this is Donald Road in Queanbeyan for our viewers. Prices of houses in Canberra are crazy now. The average price of a house in Canberra is a million dollars. Why that needs to be that, I don't know. So I'll turn around here. This is just the end of Donald Road. Just goes up to that next intersection just ahead. And then we'll ride back down. You might be able to hear a bit of wind noise and probably can't hear any engine noise. I'm going to have to work on a better sound system that can pick up the engine noise and let you enjoy the engine noise a little bit and not just the wind. So Queenwind's a wonderful little town. It's, uh, it's like a big rural city even though it's near the capital city of Australia with all its um, you know, sort of public service style people and um, public servant um, wealth. Uh, Queenbeyan seems to have kept its character. It's a country, country town in many ways. Very similar to Bungendore, but probably a bit more like a city. <coughs> Bungendore's nearby to the east, about 25 kilometers away. There's the high school again on the right. A lot of immigrants have come to Queenbeyan over the years. Uh, there was the Greeks and the you know, Italians and some of them are good friends of ours. And uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. Some of them have married um, Chinese wives like I have. And so we, we all get to know each other. And uh, the Greeks and Greeks and Italians are very friendly people, hard working. Like the Chinese, they mostly they work very hard. But whatever they do, they do um, with great zeal. They want to achieve and get somewhere. But your normal Australians are probably a little bit more relaxed. We um, we all we tend to. Um, I think there's more, uh, uh, more, uh, more to life than just work and making money. There's a spiritual dimension as well. So I think Australians, um, a little bit like that, after one or two generations, tend to be more relaxed. Um, they're happy with what what they're given and um, enjoy their life. Although many still work very hard. A lot of the um, tradies work hard. So here we've come back to uh, Canberra Avenue. So to the left would be Canberra or Fishwick. And to our right is the city of Queenbeyan, the, the centre. It's a green light, but still a red arrow to the right. There we go. 
So we've actually got the circus in town now, so we'll ride down past the showgrounds. The showgrounds are really great, they've got a big oval and they have many great events there. They have the uh, yearly, they have a four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive exhibition. They'll have the annual show and um, usually have a circus on once, once or twice a year and the circus is on now. Some advertising there about COVID that you can get a free COVID um, checkup. It's only free, I think, because it's on uh, probably it's, uh, bulk build, they call it. On the left is our new courthouse. It's just, oh, the police station, sorry, there's our new police station. It's just been rebuilt and it's got a big parking lot underneath for all the police cars and it's all just been finished and put into action. So we're going to ride up past the park. We did that on one of our previous videos. It's a wonderful park here on the left. And uh, really enjoy walking around that park. It's always green and they keep it well. Once a month they have a market out there in the grass on the left. So there we go. We've seen Donald Road and we're testing out our video. If you've seen this, then it's worked. Actually, this was the second time I did this ride to test out the camera because um, the first time I didn't have it set right. So thanks very much for watching and um, have a look at our next video, which is the a ride into um, Canberra City, the two parliament houses, Lake Burley Griffin, beautiful day, sunshine. Then I'll ride up... Um, Northbourne Avenue it's called and we see the new train the train track goes up the centre of Northbourne Avenue so it's very different if you know Canberra from a few years ago you'll see this and um, see how much has changed along Northbourne Avenue and then I'll continue up Northbourne Avenue and I'll um, come back over to um, Horse Park Drive and back down uh, Madura Parkway it's a new road that's been added on if you like to uh, Tugrid on uh, uh, the Monero Highway and so it goes from Kuma along the Monero Highway and then Monero Parkway I suppose you call it and then it joins into Majura Parkway and joins the road to Sydney again so thanks very much catch you later